What kind of dork does pre-flight checks? This drone looks fine. I got eyeballs. Let's send it. Hey everybody, I'm Big Ninja, and I went flying this week. It's actually been a minute because it's been raining around here, so, you know, I thought, I'm probably gonna be rusty for the first couple packs. But it turns out, I totally sucked. Like, bad. Real bad. Worse than I've flown in a really long time. And I just couldn't figure out why. But I did know what was happening. This. <laughs> And I thought, eh, it's fine, it's just my first pack. Again, I'm rusty, I'm gonna warm up to this. I'm gonna get my thumbsticks back in line and we're gonna be fine. Until more of that. And after that continued, for the remainder of the eight packs I brought with me, I finally decided to take a look at my freaking quad and figure out what was wrong, because surely that could not be me. It turns out I was right. There is something wrong with my drone, and I totally missed it in my pre-flight checks. If you're not doing pre-flight checks, this video is to remind you to do your pre-flight checks and why. So let's cover what my normal pre-flight checks are, and then I'll tell you what I missed and show you what caused me to suck so terribly on my only chance to fly in two weeks. And obviously the first thing that I do for my pre-flight checks is get my handy prop nut driver and I tighten all of my props. I just give them a good hand tight just to make sure they're not loose because nobody wants a loose spinny prop. Once I've done that, I just give the props a little physical examination, make sure nothing's bent that I didn't notice before. I spin the motors, make sure they're not gritty. I flip it over and I look at the arms and wobble them sideways make sure nothing's wrong there. Take a look at all the connectors and make sure they're all good and seated inside of here. And I don't see any physical damage. And once I've got all that done, I bust out the two favorite things in my drone bag to do the last part of my pre-flights. And that would be kick and ass. But no, it's just regular old lens cleaner and a microfiber cloth. And what I usually do is I spray a little lens cleaner on my microfiber and I kick up my GoPro, clean the lens a little bit there, clean this lens a little bit there. And then I take what's left and I clean the lenses in my goggles. And then I'm ready to go, I take off. And on this particular day, all of that was just fine. However, I was not. Kept crashing and the drone felt funny. It felt really funny. And I didn't remember doing anything to it, last time I flew. I know I, I crashed it I think once last time I flew. Nothing too big. I didn't break an arm. I didn't really even break that many props. I think I broke one prop that day. So I had no reason to be concerned about what may be actually broken on my quad. But it turns out that I actually did have something broken on this quad. And that would be this rear arm here. But it looks fine, like I can I can bend that. Let me show you in the camera here. It doesn't really flex. It's fine, it passes the whole flex test, right? So why would I have any reason to be concerned about that? Well, it turns out that it's not about the flex. It's about the rotation. You should not be able to do this with your motor. That should not be possible. Let's look at the other arms, because this is a good one. See how I really can't flex it, it moves a little, but it's not bad at all. This one, it's a problem. It's a real problem. And it turns out what has happened is I delaminated the carbon in this arm. And if I twist it just right, maybe I can get that in the camera. If I twist it just right, er, maybe you can see it. I'm hoping you can. It's really hard to find a spot on this camera, but it's delaminated inside and that makes it twist. And I didn't even check that. So one of the things you should put into your pre-flight check to avoid this kind of situation is a twist of your arms. It's very apparent if I grab my motors and then I just do a little twist that this arm is twisting and this one over here is doing nothing at all. If I grab two that are good, you know, it, it seems to do just fine. Those are good. This is not good when you can totally twist the motor. And that, as it turns out, was why my quad felt like crap. So it was not me. I mean, part of it was me. I was probably a little bit rusty, but ma'am, I just couldn't make the quad do what I wanted it to do. And I thought, 
have I forgotten how to use these sticks? No, the uh, gyro feedback from having my motor flopping around and you completely cannot see that even though the delamination is toward the end, it's not visible unless you flex it. So wasn't my fault, but I still did fly. And if you're wondering what it looks like for me to fly with a delaminated arm, here's a nice little edit of the sections where I didn't crash, which I won't say they're few and far between, they just aren't very long because I spent a lot of time walking out into a field full of stickers and rabbits. I think I saw a turtle at one point to retrieve my freaking quad because I skipped my pre-flights. Could have just slapped an arm on it. Anyway, here's what it looks like when I fly with a delaminated arm on my perfect freestyle build. Baby, you let me in Then you push me out Now I'm falling down I'm falling, falling, you and your crazy love, you make me weak, baby I'm falling down. So it wasn't horrible, right? But it wasn't the best either. I didn't get very long lines. It just didn't feel like me that day. But now I know that I should twist my stupid motors and my free flight checks before I go out and fly. And if you didn't know, I hope you do now. And if you aren't doing pre flight checks, I hope you are because you should be at least tightening your props and you might throw in there and consider tightening your screws. At a certain point, mine are so tight they never back out. So I don't do that very often, but all things you should definitely look for before you let a quad get off the ground because I got lucky and the delamination was actually fairly stable in the correct direction other than rotation. If it hadn't been, the quad might have just taken off to the moon or uh, done some other crazy things that I would have been liable for. So do this in your pre-flight checks. I hope it saves somebody some trouble out there. But that's all I have, this quick little video. I'm actually on vacation right now, so this is a short video during the week while I am unable to make one. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this little bit of bacon. Just a small strip. A bacon bit, if you will. But until next time, stay greasy, and I'll catch you later. What kind of dork does pre-flight checks? This drone looks fine. Flying? Fine. fine.